let's solve part D now. So is this outcome efficient? Is there a way to improve it? Now this is a more of an intuitive question. Again, if we look on our graph, what do we notice here? Is that we have we have a certain ability where the where the people go to work for companies and a certain ability where people are self-employed. But if we compare if we compare what the company is willing to pay, the company is actually willing to pay a thousand euros extra. So under self-employment, they get five thousand times a worth of their value. Under the company case, they also get that plus a thousand euros. The problem is that when they work for the company, they're not getting exactly the worth of their value because the companies cannot know whatever ability they have. They don't know their skill. They don't know the actual value that they create. So they pay based on average. And when they pay based on average, by definition, that expected value is going down, meaning that the wage is going down. So it's not efficient. Ideally, the workers, if they could prove their skill, if they could prove the value that they create, they would get more money working for a company. So working for a company would be more efficient, but it's not. And one way to improve it would be to measure the output. So if they could measure the output and see the value that they create, indeed they would get more money. But again, if that's realistic to do without any cost, then it would be good. But if that is a cost, if it costs money to measure the output, then it's a matter of trade-off. Are they going to measure the output to get the thousand euros extra? Or is it too, too expensive? If it's too, too expensive, it's not worth to measure the output, then they would just become self-employed. So it's just a matter of trade-off comparing the benefits and the costs. Anyway, hope this makes sense and we are done.